Hello you guys and welcome back to another player review. Last night I was opening up a few packs just on the off and I got lucky. Who popped up? Kevin De Bruyne, 88 rated. Was really happy with that pool because he is going for 200,000 coins and I couldn't wait to bring him into a team because he is a player that I wanted to try anyway. So here's the review for you guys. So if you want to drop a like on the video, that'd be fantastic. If there are any other players you want me to actually review, then uh, please recommend them in the comments. And if you're needing ultimate team coins, make sure to head over to FeverUltimateTeamCoins.com. They will hook you up with some nice cheap coins. Use the code Fuji, get yourself a discount, or if you are wanting to purchase games, head over to g 2 a and also use that code Fuji. So I did use the card in a couple of teams, 4-2-3-1 and also the 4-3-3 attacking variation. And personally, I think he played better in the 4-3-3 just because he was involved in the play a little bit more. It was easier for me to link up with him and I was rifling those long shots home. So with the overall rating, he's 88 rated with 77 pace, 83 shot, 86 passing, 84 dribbling, 40 defense and 75 physical. So he's 5 foot 11. He's definitely not too small. High attacking, medium defensive work rates, right footed. But I always remembered Kevin De Bruyne to have five star weak foot and four star skills. It's a little unfortunate that he's lost that, but his left foot is still very good. So don't worry. Four star, four star, 11 games, seven goals, and three assists. So overall, I really do like the look of the card. It looks absolutely fantastic. Let's go and check out his in game stats to see what he has to offer. So I honestly thought that the new stat brought in composure. Kevin De Bruyne would have maybe had 86, 87 but 82 isn't so bad he also does have 88 vision with 87 reactions very nice physical and mental stats right there moving over to the skill attributes 90 crossing 85 dribbling 82 finishing which felt a lot better 85 long shots 84 shot power very very nice and also it says that he can play as a left mid or a right mid and I thought that it'd be cool if the high rated players only the high rated players though could actually change their position like automatically automatically and still keep chemistry i just thought that'd be a good idea but anyway let's go and check out what he's like on the pitch. So at the time of recording guys, Kevin De Bruyne's price is 200,000 and is that really expensive for an 88 rated card? We're going to find out today. And one thing that I absolutely love with this Kevin De Bruyne card is one touch pop passing. I don't know if that's even a thing, but I'm going to make it a thing. It's just the way he can get the ball under control and he can pick out a run and that is what you want from your cam. Good short passing, good long passing and fantastic vision. But not only that, ideally you want your cam to be able to pick up goals because for me they get the majority of the goals for my team and with De Bruyne he has a clinical finish yes a cam with a clinical finish let me bring him into my team ASAP like his finishing outside the box is just remarkable his finesse shots his shooting across goal his power strikes his placement shots he can do it all so if you give him too much space that is the quality right there so if someone's on park the bus you're going to have no problem to break them down because Kevin De Bruyne has the quality just to bang in long shots and I love it with his dribbling, one thing I notice is that because his agility isn't the best, his high ball control and dribbling itself makes up for it. So he's not that kind of player that feels sluggish on the ball. He does feel responsive when you play the ball into him. He can get it under control very quickly, and that's what you want. You don't really want your cams to be caught. And as he isn't the weakest, he does have a nice bit of strength and height about him, so he can hold his own in certain scenarios. And this clip, for example, is showing you his acceleration and pace. He definitely isn't a speedster. And, and down as a con, I've put acceleration because he isn't the quickest. But if you are wanting to do the give and goes, he definitely can run onto it, run onto it. And look at that finesse shot! Wow, he just pulled it back and he's popped that finesse. He feels very responsive. I really do like him, and he is able to pick out a run. He is like the perfect cam, really. It's a shame that he doesn't have that five star weak foot. But in all honesty, I didn't really notice it too much. But down as a con, I have heading, which is just, I mean, it's it's a little bit picky to be honest you don't really need it but then again if you are wanting to hoof it up to your cam from a goal kick I, I usually play it to my left back or my left mid but if he's in an aerial battle he probably will not come away with the ball just because he's jumping and heading accuracy isn't that good but overall guys I've got to say that Kevin De Bruyne is definitely worth it 200,000 coins and he is that player that can break open defenses he is quality definitely recommended by me I haven't yet tried his in form and that oh my my god that's going to be even better so definitely purchase the non-informed De Bruyne you're going to love him five out of five stars someone said that you should do a rating out of 10 well I'll probably give him a 10 because he's that good thanks ever so much for watching guys and I'll see you very soon see you now Peace.